Good evening again, everybody. Stuck on Collectibles. My name is Brian. Uh, we're going to continue with the haul video. Um, today, I went to a farmer's market, uh, stopped at four Game Stops, two Walmarts, Target, uh, two Rosses, uh, the farmer's market, and my local comic book shop. Yes, I was hunting for somebody else today. I already notified him when I got him, so hopefully he watches the video and he sees it. But, uh, okay, Callie. I'll send them out. I want to go look at a couple more places and then I'll send them out to you. But, uh, first I will show you what I picked up at uh, Ross's. Everybody was talking about the Iron Man Spider-Man 2-pack. I picked one up. There was only three there. Boxes in pretty decent shape. Um, it was $10.99, so that wasn't bad. That was the only thing I seen Marvel Legends wise or Star. There was no Star Wars or anything except for those goofy build figures that you can change parts. They had uh, I don't remember which one it was. They really didn't have anything at the first one. I mean, they had like one row of toys and it was nothing. Uh, well, that's not true. They had like. Uh, one of those Spider-Man figures from the cartoon, but uh, no Marvel Legends, no Star Wars, really nothing of anything. No Transformers. I haven't seen anything like that there. Uh, but the second one I stopped at, they had three of those. One of the boxes was completely crushed. The other one looked like it had been opened, and that one was hidden. Sorry. If you hit it and you're watching this video, don't hide it behind... A Barbie doll. I don't collect Barbies. I just happen to be walking down the aisle and I see it from the side. If you're going to bury it, bury it behind something that no one's going to move. Uh, now, this is the first of the series of this I bought. I used to buy those Kino figures for like the Turtles, the Transformers. They even had G.I. Joe set up. But these uh, Mega Constructs, uh, everybody keeps saying she's the hardest one to find. Well, I found her today. Um, Tila. I guess I gotta get the Beast Man now. I wouldn't mind getting the Fry and the Bender. Maybe the Star Trek ones. I passed up. I seen the original ones where they had like the Next Generation, Captain Picard, and Borg. I passed on them, but I still see them on a regular basis. But they have a Captain Kirk and Spock from, uh, I don't remember the name of the episode. Uh, but, uh, Series 2 set doesn't look bad. I don't know if they're going to do a Series 3. I hope they do because, I mean, the figures look a little goofy for the Masters. I mean, she looks weird, but uh, uh, if anything, I got Tila. Now, uh, those were the toys for the day. Like I said, uh, uh, I went with a friend of mine today. He was the best man at my wedding. Godfather to my son. Um, he bought my son a Hess truck, which I'd show you, but my son already uh, ripped it out of the box and he took it with him where where they went this evening. So uh, now the comic book place. Uh, I don't know if when you go to your comic book store they have like uh, bargain bins. Yeah, bargain bins. Our bargain bins it's usually two for ninety nine. So I go through there to find something new that maybe I haven't seen. I don't have a subscription there anymore. I haven't had one in probably about two, three years. I just go in and pick up a few books here and there. And then I hit the bargain bin. I'm cheap. Sorry. But uh, I was in there shopping for a friend. He's trying to work on a set. And I'm going to say it. Nate, good luck, man. Because some of those books are going to be pretty expensive. He's trying to work on the Uncanny X-Men set. He wants uh, issue 1 through 300. And he's doing pretty good. I mean, uh, my comic book shop didn't have... The only two they had on your list was this, and they were annuals. I had got you annual 10. And the glare is probably going to kill you. So, But it's like the first appearance of Longshot. So that's what it says. Introducing the newest X-Men Longshot. So... You got that one, buddy. And this was issue 11. 
I, I really like the cover, man. It looks like Wolverine's getting his butt, butt whipped. Then you got Storm there. I really don't know who this character is. I mean, I had these back in the day, back when I was reading X-Men. Um, I had... I had pretty much anywhere from... I think it was 120 up. Because I remember I had the Days of Fusion Pass, set, which... When I got them, I got them for a pretty decent price. Uh, the earliest issue I had for Uncanny X-Men a long time ago was issue 13, which is the, one of the appearance of, one of the first appearances of the Juggernaut. Uh, I remember because I was at an auction with my grandfather at a place called Hare's Auction, famous place here in Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. They still have the drive-ins going on. It's where I go for the drive-ins. But uh, uh, yeah, I, I paid like four bucks for that issue, and it was in pretty decent shape. So, but financial problems down the road. It went bye-bye with most of my comic collection. I mean, I saved some, but okay. Now I'm not going to do these in any secret, any special order. Well, I guess I will to a point because I got, I think, a complete set of one thing. If I can find it. Okay. Now, I didn't really read this series, The Secret Empire, but uh, I got issue five, and the glare is gonna. And then I got issue six. I think it was a six issue series. I'm not sure. I like that cover with Thor on top on the front. Most of you guys have probably already seen this. All the comic book people have seen this. But, uh, this one. Oh. Okay. I'm hoping this was the complete set. I think it was one through five. But I got Secret Empire Brave New World. And I seen issue one where they had Black Panther and Namor. And I was like, oh man, I gotta read this set. So, there's the first one. Uh, number two. I don't know who that. That might be Falcon in Cap's uniform. Looks like he's on a glider. And then can't have a something going on with a Daily Bugle knowing about it. So you got issue three. Issue four, I think this might be Mindy Knight, but she's uh, Misty Knight, sorry. Dressed in some sort of uniform, so I don't know. And five here, actually looks like, I don't know, it could be Blade, the way it looks. I don't know. I'll read it, find out. So, that was that. And see, we're getting close to the mark now, so. And then, I got this Avengers book. Like I said, I just go through and pick out some things. See, my major thing back when I was collecting comic books, I collected X-Men, Fantastic Four, Avengers, Justice League. Mostly the group things. Uh, I read G.I. Joe, Transformers, Thundercats. Uh, I had the series for this. And I seen this, I was like, wow, they're bringing it back. I heard they did a toy thing with uh, San Diego Comic-Con last year with, uh, I think it was Matt Stryker was in the box, but Mask. Yeah, First Strike. I guess it's a new, uh, it says new comic book event, First Strike, and this was issue one. So you got Mask. Can't go wrong with that. Now, I'm, uh... I grew up watching sci-fi. Now, I'm not going to put these in any specific order because one issue alone, I got four different covers. I don't know why, but they were four different covers. This is Battlestar Galactica, Death of Apollo. If you watched Battlestar Galactica, there was a lot of... not the, This is based on, I think, the original series. Uh, but Apollo was the son of Adama. And, but this is issue four, one cover.
Now this is issue four, another cover. Now this is issue four, another cover. And I like that cover because I got the Viper on there. And I, I had one of those as a kid. I never had the Cylon Raider, but I had the Viper. And I had the Galactica on the model kit. And then here's issue four again with Starbuck on the cover, I'm assuming. With uh, two women battling with Cylon. And then you got issue two, which looks like Starbuck. Because you can always tell Starbuck had the blonde hair. And he's blowing apart a bunch of Cylons. Then you got this one that has Apollo. Looks like there's blood behind him. And a lot of data or whatever going by. But just, I'm going to have to find issue one, I guess. Um, this is number three. You have uh, a Dom on the cover with Starbuck and a bunch of other ones, Pi Athena and all them kind of. And then this one was from a separate series. It's just Battlestar Galactica. And I don't know if this crosses over with it or not because they show the people in white. If you ever seen the one episode where uh, Starbuck disappears or Apollo disappears and all that, they, they, these people are from like, like inner, another dimension, but they're always dressed in white and they're like see through. And, sorry. The glare on this thing. So. And a uh, couple. Justice League books. Here's issue 50. Superman Messiah. Here is Justice League Rebirth number 9. Outbreak. Okay, now what's this? Did I get two more covers again? Oh yeah, this first 50, this was a John Romita Jr. variant cover. They had it marked at 625. I got it for in the 2 for 99 bit. Ain't that. Because here's the regular cover. Wow. We've got some dark side going on, which looks cool. Sorry. And then we got issue 45. Also has Dark Side on the cover with Wonder Woman. Looks like she's a little mad. She got an axe in her hand. Two of them actually. Never mess with a woman with an axe in her hand. And uh, final book was uh, Star Wars 26. It looks like Luke and Obi Wan's on the cover. Yoda's on the cover. So, and it must be an older book because on the back they show Marvel Legends, the Juggernaut Wave. So, but that was the comic book call from, uh, oh, I didn't forget the name of the store. That is so sad. I don't go there that often. I don't have a receipt or something. Ah, well. Caught, uh, I feel bad now. I forgot the name of my comic book store. That ain't gonna help us a little more. Comics Connection, that's it. Oh yeah, you see my my nightwear. I'm sorry. But we're at 14 minutes here. Uh, that's the whole. Nate, like I said, I'm gonna hold them for at least a week or two to see if I can't find anything else. I was gonna go to what we call Saturday's Market this Saturday. It's bigger see what I can find uh, money's a little limited so we'll see what we can do for you um, tomorrow's July 4th have a good day thank you to everybody that served from the beginning of this country till now and beyond uh, thank you for your service uh, party hardy tomorrow just be responsible drive safe uh, don't want any accidents because 
anybody's rushing to get to a party, the party will still be there. Or if you're drinking too much, have somebody else drive or stay there. But I want to thank you for tuning in. Uh, my wife wants me to try something else with my channel, so uh, movie reviews. So I might start doing something like that. Go through some of the movies I have in stock, which are numerous, and maybe do a review or two every once in a while. Uh, but please give a thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe. We're at 24 subscribers right now. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, I'm not going to change how I do this channel. Uh, I'm probably not going to add any music. Never edit. I don't know if you've seen, but a cat just walked by me. Uh, but um, I'm just doing this because this is what I do. Uh, I collect toys. Uh, I'm 45 years old. Uh, since I was 16 years old, I stopped opening toys. Uh, every time I wanted to open a toy, I had to buy two. Uh, most of my collection is, is not even in this house. My mother stores some of my stuff because I stored a lot with my grandparents until they passed. But uh, I don't have room in this house to store half the stuff. I mean, I think it was the early 2000s G.I. Joe set. I have all the single figures but four, and I couldn't tell you which four they are right now. Um, I got all the vehicles but I think three, uh, I had all the group packs, and I'm selling doubles because back in the day when I would buy like, go to like auctions or stuff like that, and or eBay or stuff, I'd buy lots, if I had doubles. Uh, my grandfather used to flea market and I'd go along with him every once in a while and just sell what I had doubles, keep what I wanted. I do the same thing with trading cards. I still do that with trading cards, especially when it comes to autographs and stuff like that. I just bought a couple lots of autograph cards and costume cards. I went to, uh, it was a private sale auction and um, I didn't get everything I wanted because they showed you everything was available, then they just mixed them up and they sold a couple at a time, blindly. So I got as many as I could. I got maybe three or four cards I wanted. The rest of them I got stuff that I don't even know about really. Uh, I don't think these are all of them. I don't have time to really show you them all, but uh, stuff like this. These are like Japanese costume cards. I uh, don't really want to show that one now. Um, okay, she's covered. Like this. Uh, I, I, I remember seeing them on eBay. I never got into them. Um, like, I got one from Vampire Academy. It wasn't on my list. Uh, there were some Stargate ones they had. They had some Star Trek ones, which I didn't get any. Um... See, like this one I can't really show you. This one I really can't show you because she's naked. Um, I got an Iron Man one. This is from uh, Iron Man 3. Uh, this is a teal one. I think I already have this one. But it was, uh, I think, a case card or something like that. And then I got... What is this one? This is Ratchet. I have Ratchet. This is from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. I think. I don't know. But it's Robert Foxworth is Ratchet. That's a neat card. I had a couple of the Transformers here before, but uh, see, like, I got another Ratchet here. This is the one I originally had. That's from the word set. And I had Jazz. Uh, but uh, I'm going to try to find out a little bit about these cards. Most likely I'm just going to sell them on eBay, get rid of them. Um, I've got to worry about that because some of them have a little nudity on them. So see what I can do. But I want to thank you. Enjoy your day tomorrow. Uh, this video will be uploaded tomorrow, by tomorrow. So you'll probably see it tomorrow or the next day if you're watching. But have a good evening. Please subscribe. And please leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, uh, leave a comment, and you have yourself a good night.